Okay, comrades, what we're looking at here is the Sturmansky Sputnik commemorative model. Now, those of you who have actually seen me on television here in the U.S. before, you've probably seen this model, or you may have seen it in one of the magazines or um, <clears throat> on you know various websites or so forth. It's not brand new. It's been out a little while, but uh, the thing that's special about this one, first of all, there's not many left. I know that the, the run of this is just about over. And uh, second of all, um, you know, this really is a, a standout example from Stramansky, made by the Volmax company in Moscow. <clears throat> um, those of you who are new to Russian watches, let me tell you a little bit about Stramansky. One of the really cool things about Stramansky is that they truly were the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin. Um, the very first watch worn in space was a Stramansky. And the Volmax company, which we represent, here on the Watch Comrade Show, is the official holder and the only trademarked official holder of the Stramansky brand name in the world today. So we do represent the watch that was the first watch in space. And you know, for me, personally, I think that's just way cool that you're gonna have a watch on your wrist that has the name brand from the very first watch to ever go into space. Now, um, the this watch has a movement in it that is 100% Russian made. This watch is hand assembled in Moscow. I've seen the factory myself where they put these watches together. It's a, and there is more than 300 years of experience in the watch of watchmaking experience in the room at the Volmax factory, which used to be the first Moscow watch factory where these watches are assembled and where the movements are built. And in fact, one of the things that Volmax does when they get the movements in from the movement manufacturer, um, or if they built them themselves, they're never happy when they first come off the assembly line, um, when the movements come in, it's not really an assembly line, but anyway, they, they're, they, they're not satisfied at that point, even if the movement is, is working perfectly. They strip it down completely, put it in an acid wash bath, and then rebuild the movement. And these watches go through days and weeks of testing before they are sent out to the marketplace. Let's talk about some specs on this one. The case size on this watch is 43 millimeters. Now, it doesn't include the crown, so that's 43 millimeters across, okay? Uh, this one is about 12, mil 12 millimeters thick. It is heavily layered in the yellow gold, which is actually kind of unusual for Russian watches. You're going to see a lot more of the Russian watches in the rose gold examples, not in the yellow gold examples. Um, the date at the 12 o'clock position. And what is really, really cool about this particular model is this satellite to affect the look of the Sputnik that goes around on this plastic dial, um, or whatever it's made of, acrylic, I'm not sure what the dial is actually made of, but it, it literally looks like it's floating around the watch, of course, and then floating around the world because we have the, the world map in here and Moscow is marked with a red star. Now let's quickly talk about price on this one. As you know, um, as you've been, you know, you start watching the show more and you get accustomed to the way we're doing this, you're going to be picking this up on our website, which is russiatoall.com. That's R-U-S-S-I-A, the number two, A-L-L.com. You're going to go there to, to purchase the watch. You're going to go to the Watch Comrade uh, category, and there you'll see these watches listed. Now, you wouldn't know by just going on the category on the website that there's a special price. You have to watch the show to get that. You're going to get a coupon code. In this case, we kept it really simple. The code is Sputnik. And that is the code you're going to put in after you put the watch into the um, shopping cart that's going to give you the special price. And eventually I'll get this watch back in the frame. It's going to give you the special price. You have to have that code to get the price. And the price on this one, full bust out retail on this watch is $379. Uh, you'll see it on a lot of sites for $329. The special price for the Watch Comrade Show this week is $249. 249. That's going to come with an aviator ball cap that you saw earlier in the intro of the show. It's a canvas aviator ball cap with the logo right on the front. It's a really, really high quality ball cap that's going to come with. And of course, one point on this with anything on the show, it's while supplies last. Okay, we, we can't guarantee that everybody who makes an order is going to be able to get things. If, if, if the caps sell out, if the watch sells out, it is while supplies last. Now, the coupon code is only good for seven days from the date that the show is posted on YouTube. Okay, so you got to get on over there and get the order. You do have a little time because this isn't live TV, but at least, um, you know, we do give you the seven days, but once the seven days is over, that coupon code is going to expire. All right, let's get back to some specs. This is, let's see, the strap on this watch, I believe, is a 22 millimeter. Yes, this is a 22 millimeter strap on this watch. 
This is a numbered limited edition, as is most of the Russian watches that we represent. I love this little medallion on the back to represent the Sputnik. As far as I know, this is the only official Russian watch that was built to commemorate the Sputnik. As you know, the Sputnik was the first human-made um, piece of equipment to ever go into space and orbit the Earth uh, in 1957. So in 2000, excuse me, 57? 57, yes, in 1957. So this came out in 2007, the original version of this, as a, actually I think it came out in 2008. I'm, I'm not positive about that, but nevertheless, within the last few months, uh, um, it came out rep representing as a um, as the commemorative edition of the Sputnik going into space. Now, again, of course, it was fitting for Volmax to choose the Aviator, excuse me, the Sturmansky brand name for this particular watch, since the Sturmansky was the first watch in space. I love the Cyrillic on the back. In fact, this watch is entirely in Cyrillic. Um, I really like it when they use the Cyrillic because that just, you know, when somebody notices the watch on your wrist, they're like, wow, where did you get that? Oh, it's a Russian watch. I didn't even know they made watches in Russia. Well, they've been making Russia, watches in Russia for more than 70 years. So you've got a great story to tell on this watch. Um, you've got the subdial second hand. Again, the date is at the 12 o'clock position. You're talking surgical, surgical grade stainless steel with the highest quality coating of the yellow gold on this watch. Um, this is a mechanical manual wind watch. I want to make that absolutely clear to anyone who's picking this up. This is not an automatic. This does not wind through the movement of your wrist like the Expedition Trophy from the other segment. By the way, if you're just picking up this segment on the Sputnik, be sure and catch part one where we talk about the latest Expedition Trophy model from Vostok Europe. Um, this is the 2614.02 Volmax Russian movement in this watch. Again, it is a manual wind movement. Um, this is a 5 ATM water resistancy on this one, and it weighs 72 grams. And again, the cool thing about this one is the floating satellite, which I really love on this watch. That's what makes this a standout watch. Um, there are actually some positive reviews about this watch on Russia to All. I have gotten so much positive feedback from the folks who've already picked one up. Let's look at some of the angles. Here we go from the side. You can see it has a flat crystal, um, and this is this is a hardened mineral crystal on this one. I love the shape of the lugs on this. It's a very comfortable watch. Let's throw it this way. There we go. And I'm going to flip it over, and we'll look at it this way. And you've seen it from the back. I love that medallion on the back. There's just so much to offer. The thing I love about the Russian watches, you're picking this up for $249. You're going to get the Aviator ball cap. Let me see if I can just throw that into the screen for a second. Okay, I'm really going to screw that up just royally. And there you go. Well, you see the logo. It's a nice ball cap. You're going to get that with the watch. Um, for $249, you're just getting so much watch here. A numbered limited edition, a true Russian movement, hand assembled in Moscow. The floating dial, which is an extra complication on this watch. We've got the great, I believe these are Hirsch straps on here. And this one actually is Mark Polyot, which actually is adds a little bit of the collectability to this one because you don't see the Polyot straps as much. Where is it? There we go. Wait, come on over. Come, come no, move it on over. What am I doing? There we go. Whoop, whoop, try again. There it is. There we go. Okay. We did that successfully eventually. That is the Poyot on here, which we know is now defunct. Um, so uh, having that uh, strap on this watch actually adds a little value as well. So pick it up today, 249 The coupon will expire in seven days. This is the Sputnik Commemorative by Sturmansky. Don't miss it. There are not that many left. We have very few in stock, and I know that the worldwide, supp worldwide supply is not that big anymore. Pretty soon we're going to be getting in actually a 24-hour military version of this that's going to be on one of our shows later. Also, keep watching the Watch Comrade channel for Russian Watches 101, which we're going to be doing in the coming days. That is going to be a just kind of a primer on Russian watches for the uninitiated. Um, I'm going to go through a lot of the basics. I do not claim to be a, a historian of Russian watches. If you want to know more about that, you want to go to Watch You Seek, uh, which where the historians, the guys who know all the deep history about the Russian watches are. Um, also, some, a couple of other great forums, BDWF and WatchGeeks.net. Uh, They're both .net. Uh, where there's a lot of discussion about Russian watches. But the guys over at Watch You Seek, a lot of the really heavy-duty people who've been collecting for years are on there. 
Um, my main area of expertise is more in the, uh, the current companies that are building the watches because, of course, I'm regularly communicating with those manufacturers and talking to them about what they're doing and where they're going, although I will talk about some of the history as well. So be sure and check that out. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it, everybody, and the positive feedback that we've had, and we're excited about the next shows. And uh, be looking for our newsletter, which you need to sign up for at RussiaToAll.com. And um, we will be putting up some previews of the new watches that we're going to have in shows in the coming days.